All right, picture this. You wake up, grab your coffee, scroll through the feeds, and bam, there it is. Not an artist's impression, not a blurry blob inferred from starlight wobbles, but an actual image from the James Webb Space Telescope. Proxima B, our solar system's next-door neighbor planet, 4.2 light-years away, hanging there in the void. And honestly, it's making scientists lose their minds. Forget what you thought it might look like. Webb, using its incredible infrared eyes and a fancy starlight-blocking mask called a coronagraph, managed to dim Proxima Centauri, that tiny, furious red dwarf star, enough to actually see the planet itself. It's still small, mind you, just a few precious pixels against the cosmic black. But those pixels, they're screaming secrets. First off, the color. It's not Earth blue or Mars red. It's this deep, rusty amber, glowing like a dying ember. Why? Because Proxima B is bathed constantly in the dim crimson light of its sun. Webb sees heat, and the planet is radiating its own warmth back at us in infrared. It looks alien. Warm, but in a subdued, ancient kind of way. Then the haze, surrounding that little amber orb, a faint ethereal shroud. That's atmosphere. Confirmed. Not just a whisper in the data anymore, but something Webb's instruments can actually see the light scattering through. It's thin and wispy, like smoke clinging to the planet, but it's undeniably there. And it's patchy. There are subtle variations, hints of swirling currents or thinner patches, maybe weather patterns in an alien sky. But here's the part that really has everyone gasping. Texture. On the tiny disk of this world, barely resolved, Webb detected differences. One side, likely the hemisphere perpetually facing its sun, is a touch brighter and warmer, a ruddy sun-baked face. The other side, in eternal night, is cooler and dimmer, a deeper, shadowy maroon. And on that sunlit side, it's not smooth. There are blotches, darker, cooler regions interrupting the warmer glow. What are they? Could they be? Continents? Massive mountain ranges? Or vast cold highlands? And the brighter, smoother areas between them? Could those be ancient, frozen oceans? Lava plains smoothed over millennia? Or something entirely unimaginable? We don't know yet, but the sheer fact we can see potential surface features, actual geology, on a planet orbiting another star, it's revolutionary. It transforms Proxima B from a dot on a graph into a real place. Imagine the scene in Mission Control. Scientists huddled around screens, zooming in on those few pixels, pointing at subtle color shifts in the haze, arguing passionately about what each tiny variation might mean. The raw data is pouring in, and the spectrum, the chemical fingerprint of that atmosphere, is next. What's in that wispy shroud? Water vapor? Methane? Nitrogen? Signs of something more? The analysis has only just begun, and the universe just got a whole lot more interesting right in our backyard. Unbelievable, absolutely, and utterly, magnificently real.